Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use AI to learn anything. Now, it's easy when you're trying to learn a new topic to dive into rabbit holes for hours, searching through the web, and most of the material that you find don't actually teach you what you actually need to learn. But you can actually use AI to filter through all of the information so that you get the most relevant information that you need to learn. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so OpenAI just did a dev day yesterday. They made so many great announcements, one of them being Agent Builder. And let's suppose that you want to teach yourself about the essentials of Agent Builder right now. Actually, this is what I was doing this morning. So what I did at first was I went onto YouTube and I looked at all of the videos that were published about Agent Builder. And then I go over and I click the three dots here and I click on share. This will allow me to grab the URL of these videos. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Notebook LM and you can get a free account. Just go to notebooklm.google.com. Then start a new notebook. So you can train your notebook on any kind of information you want, really. You can sync this to your Google Drive. You can upload websites, YouTube videos, as well as text. In this case, we want to upload YouTube URLs. Now, for YouTube URLs, you can upload one at a time. So I'm going to go back to my YouTube search and I will basically find the top videos with the most views on this topic and copy all of them over to my Notebook LM account. Once I have uploaded all of my sources, next, I want Notebook LM to write a curriculum or an outline of what I need to learn step by step. So over here in the prompt section, I can write, write a course outline for learning OpenAI's new agent builder. Keep it under 5,000 characters. And you'll see why I need to put the characters portion in just a moment here. Now, give it a few seconds and Notebook LM, which is connected to Gemini, by the way, is going to give us a response. Perfect. Now, all we need to do is copy the response and go over to video overview. Now, we don't just want to press on video overview. I've tested this a few times. If you don't give it a specific instruction, then the video could be about anything under the sun related to the sources that you have uploaded. You will get a much better result if you press on the pen icon and give the AI specific instructions on what kind of video you want to generate. So you can put here, education video on open AI's agent builder. Here's the curriculum outline I want you to follow. And I paste in all of the outline. Okay, and all that's left is to press generate. Now, this is going to take about 10 minutes or so to generate it. And of course, I'm not going to make you wait around while it does that. I've already generated this beforehand and I'm going to play you the AI explanation of what the new agent builder is. Now, whenever there is a new drop from OpenAI, I usually come on here and I do a tutorial, but this time we're gonna switch it up. I'm actually gonna let AI teach you about the new agent builder. Drop a comment below and let me know how AI did. I mean, is this a future of education? Should we be scared as educators or creators that AI can get this good? And also let me know who's better. Am I better at teaching or is AI? So I want to know your thoughts and comments below. And without further ado, let me play you what Notebook LM came up with. All right, let's dive into something pretty wild from OpenAI. It's a tool that could completely change the game for how we build AI applications. It's called Agent Builder, and it promises something that sounds almost too good to be true. The power to create seriously complex AI without writing a single line of code. I mean, really think about that for a second. Imagine you're mapping out this sophisticated, multi-step AI workflow, but instead of typing out code, you're just dragging and dropping blocks on a visual canvas. That's the core idea here, and it opens up some incredible possibilities for pretty much everyone. So first things first, let's get right down to it. What exactly is this thing? We need to get a really clear handle on this to see why it's such a big deal. Okay, so think of it like a digital whiteboard for designing a conversation or a workflow. Instead of trying to cram a ton of logic into one giant, complicated prompt for a GPT, you're visually connecting all these different functional blocks. You're building out the agent's brain step by step. Now, here's a super important point. You're not going to find this inside the normal chat GPT you use every day. Nope. This is a developer tool. You'll find it over in OpenAI's playground on their platform. 
it's really designed for building those more robust, production-ready AI agents. Okay, so that's the what, but how does it all actually work? Well, at its heart, it's all about creating a logical flow by connecting different pieces on that visual canvas. So let's take a look at what those building blocks actually are. These are some of your core building blocks, and they're called nodes. Each one has a very specific job. You've got an agent node, which is kind of like a mini GPT with its own set of instructions. Then there's a classifier, which is great at just figuring out what a user actually wants, and if else lets you create branching paths for the conversation. You literally just drag them onto the screen and connect the dots. And this travel agent example makes it all click. So a user asks for Tokyo itinerary. Now, the first node in the flow doesn't even try to answer. Its only job is to classify the request as itinerary. That classification then triggers the if-else node, which sends the request down the right path, to a second agent that is an expert in only creating itineraries. It's the separation of tasks that makes the whole thing so powerful and reliable. All right, so a visual builder is awesome, that's for sure. But, you know, that's not the whole story. What really makes this tool special? This is where we get into the features that give these agents their real superpowers. So superpower number one, a massive focus on safety and making these things reliable. These built-in guardrails are a huge deal, especially if you wanna use an agent in a real business. You can automatically stop personal information from getting through, block users from trying to jailbreak your prompts, and get this, you can even have another AI model check the main agent's work for factual errors against your own documents. That's incredible. Next up, we've got widgets. This basically means an agent's response doesn't have to be just a wall of text. It can actually generate rich, interactive stuff. So instead of just words, a flight search could pop up a visual ticket you can actually click on, or an e-commerce bot could show you a shopping cart that you can add items to right then and there. It's all about the user experience. And of course, an agent needs to be able to do things. That's where tools come in. It can search the web for real-time info, or even better, it can search a bunch of files that you give it turning it into an expert on your company's internal data. And then there's the MCP server. Now this uses a special protocol that acts like a universal key, letting your agent connect to a whole world of other apps. So this idea of connecting to the outside world, that brings us to the bigger picture. With all these powerful features, you gotta ask, where does Agent Builder actually fit into the tech world right now? You know it. As soon as this thing was announced, the tech community immediately started asking this exact question. I mean, Zapier is the undisputed king of connecting apps and automating stuff. So does this new tool just make it obsolete? Well, to answer that, we have to understand that MCP thing I mentioned. Just think of it like a universal plug. It's a standard that lets different apps talk to each other in a secure way. Agent Builder uses MCP to connect to things, and importantly, Zapier has also built an MCP server. So here's the bottom line. They're not really competitors. It's much more accurate to call them collaborators. See, Agent Builder is all about creating that complex conversational AI brain. Zapier is about providing the connections to thousands and thousands of other apps. In fact, you can actually use Agent Builder to call a Zapier workflow, which gives your agent access to everything Zapier can do. It's the best of both worlds. And this quote just hits the nail on the head. For simple, quick tasks, sure, other tools are probably fine. But when you get into more complex stuff, think healthcare, legal, finance, where reliability and having tight control are absolutely essential, a tool like Agent Builder becomes mission critical. Okay, so with a much clearer picture of what this tool is and where it fits in, let's look ahead. What does all of this mean for the future of building with AI? And, you know, where do we go from here? Well, it's really important to see that Agent Builder isn't just a standalone product. OpenAI actually released it as part of a whole agent kit. And that kit includes other tools for easily deploying the chat widget to your website and even sophisticated ways to evaluate and optimize how your agent is performing over time. It's the whole package. Ultimately, what this is all about is lowering the barrier to entry. This is a clear move away from needing to be some kind of master prompt engineer or a hardcore coder just to create a truly complex, reliable, and useful AI agent. It's making sophisticated AI development accessible to so many more people. And that really brings us to the final and maybe the most exciting question of all. As tools like this become more common, more powerful, and easier to use, 
the ability to create these intelligent, autonomous agents is getting into more hands than ever before. It really makes you wonder, what's going to happen next? What will you create? All right, I hope you enjoyed the Notebook LM tutorial on the new OpenAI agent builder. And if you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe. That's going to help out this channel so much. This, I think, may be the future of education. Now we can generate any kind of content, any kind of education video that we want on any topic. Uh, even beyond that, inside of Notebook LM, you can now generate mind maps on the topics based on the sources you have uploaded. You can generate flashcards, quizzes, and reports as well. I think this is going to be so disruptive to education. And I would love to know your thoughts on this topic below. And if you want to learn more about AI and how you can use it to increase your productivity, to generate more content, or to build automations, join my free AI training below. I'm going to include a link in the descriptions. The URL is going to show up on the screen here as well. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.